In this video, we're going to talk about a concept of three-point edit and four-point edit, or three-point editing and four-point editing. And it all has to do with how many points you create as you perform it. But here's what we're trying to do here. Going back to hey, this Thai travel video, so if I go back a little bit here, let's say I'm going to delete this clip from a timeline, Asia traffic, okay? So I'm going to delete that. This will be a good example. Okay. Now I need to find the same clip. So I'll go to advanced course project, uh, project battle here. It should be in the videos bin. And this is Asia traffic. So I'm going to load it into the source monitor. Okay. Now we want to add this clip to the timeline. Okay. And let's say we want this clip to sit right in here. So right on the timeline, I'm going to set the in point and the out point in here. So I'm going to move the playhead, holding the shift key down, here, and I'll press I to set the in point. Or you can right click if you prefer and mark in. Then I'll move the playhead to the end, holding the shift key down, and I'll press O for out. Uh, you can jump between uh, cuts in a timeline, or you can navigate between the cuts in a timeline using up and down arrow keys on your keyboard. So you can just jump, okay, or navigate. Up and down arrow keys on the keyboard, okay. So I've created in a point and out point in a timeline, and I want to drop this clip into here. So what I could do is, let's say I want to drop it into this area here, and I want to choose where it's going to start in the video. So if I go back to the beginning in the source monitor, I'll just play it with an L. So maybe say from here, so I'll press I to make an in point. I'm only making the in point here. I'm not going to make an out point in this case. I'm also going to make sure that V1 is active. Okay. And what we're trying to do right now is what's called a three-point edit, because we have one, two points on the timeline and one point in the source monitor. So we've got three points in here. So at this point, I may want to drop it right in here. I don't, actually, I want to do overwrite, for example, to drop it right there. So the clip is here. So what we've got in there is it starts from this point, this is the same frame. You can see these motorcyclists here, same position, and it plays for the duration we had in here. So if I go back, the three-point edit is great if you have a certain amount of space in your timeline where you want to add the clip, and you want to choose where it's going to start, but you don't really care where it's going to end. It doesn't matter, really. But here's another option. If you want more control, if you want to be able to customize it as well, uh, you're going to create a four-point edit instead. And it could be as simple as making the out point right at the end in your clip in the source monitor. But let's say I'm going to create the out point somewhere here because if I look at the source monitor and the program monitor, so on the timeline, I've got this in and out, and looking at the program monitor, I can see that this is 6 seconds and 5 frames long. Now, if I add out point at the end of the clip in the source monitor, this is going to be 23, almost 24 seconds, which is way too long, unless, unless we want it to be very fast. So if I set the out point somewhere, let's say, maybe here, so I put the out point right in the source monitor, and now, this clip in the source monitor is more than double the duration of the space we have available in the timeline. It's almost 16 seconds. I've got six seconds in the timeline. Now, having in point and out point in the timeline, and in point and out point in the source monitor, we're creating four point edit. And four point edit has a number of uh, features. So if I just move holding shift key down to make it snap to the cut and if I perform the insert edit in here 
because I want to drop it right there, you get this dialog box. You will see this dialog box every time where the clip in the source monitor is longer or shorter than the space in your timeline. And you get these options here. So we could change the clip speed, fit to fill. That's interesting. So I could just do that. And it's going to drop this clip in here. Now I should have done override edit. So let's just go back and override edit. Here we go. So I'm going to change the clip speed to make it fill this available space. It's going to play 15 seconds in six seconds. So it's going to play it at more than double the speed. So if I click OK and play it. So let's go back, there we go, back here. And this time, if I perform override edit, we can ignore source in point. What this is going to do is it's going to use the last six seconds of this clip. It's going to play the last six seconds. Ignore source out point will play the first six seconds. Of this clip. That's what I would want, say, in this case, for example, because I've created an endpoint. They can go from either side. You can also ignore the sequence endpoint. So it's going to drop it right earlier here. So if I ignore the source sequence endpoint here, what's going to happen is when I click OK, it's going to insert the entire 15 seconds in here. And because this clip is so long, it's actually overwritten all the clips that were here before the in point. So if you look at the timeline, there's the Asia traffic all the time. If I undo, it's overwritten all these Buddha clips. In a similar way, if I go back here and do override edit again, if we ignore the sequence out point, it's going to insert the entire 15, 16 seconds, overwriting these metro clips as well in there. So Asia goes straight to Bangkok, not to Metro. If I go back, this is another option available in here. With clipping like this one, what I would want to do in here is just change clip speed, clip speed fit to fill to make this clip fit into here and just play at double the speed, which is okay because it's just a clip with no So that's the example where you can use three-point editing and four-point editing in Adobe Premiere Pro.